What's up people, Marco Hill, welcome back to another lesson. Let's learn an intermediate Spanish idea. So one of the things that make this chord progression intermediate is of course the key we are in. We are in the key of D minor and we are playing the chords D minor, C major, B flat major, and A major. So of course if we had to play the exact same thing in the key of A minor or even E minor, the whole thing would be way easier. So one of the cool things that you can do to challenge yourself is to play the same chord progressions that you already know in different keys. In this case, works great because when we add all the rhythmic and melodic elements to this chord progression, then things get quite interesting and we can really break out of the usual stuff and develop our technique even more. Now the first thing we could learn is of course the melody, the most captivating thing. It's entirely plucked with the thumb and it sounds like this. We are literally arpeggiating the notes of each chord. The D minor is made up of three notes, the note D, F, and A. And so we are plucking these three notes. We're gonna do it twice. And the rhythm here is really interesting. We got what I call the three, three, two. So we got the first note lasts for three counts, the second one as well, and the last one for just two counts. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Second chord, the C major, we have the same um, system. So we got the note C, the note E, and the note G. We do it twice. For the B flat major, we have the note B flat, the root note, the D, which is the third, and the F, which is the fifth, always twice. And for the last chord, the A major, we're gonna have a slightly different phrase. We're gonna play the note A, and then the A again, one octave higher, B flat, A, G, F, and E. So it's pretty interesting. It's kind of a nice rhythmic idea. The second time we repeat that, we're gonna change one chord, which is the C major chord. We're gonna play like this. The D minor is the same. But now for the C major chord, we're gonna play a beautiful melody. We're gonna play the note C. B flat, the A, the G, the F, and the E. So we are in a completely different position. Now we're gonna go back to position one and we're playing the B flat major. This time though, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We have the B flat major, the B flat, the G, and the F. So we're still using the same notes that make up the chord, but in a different order. And we finish with the last chord, the A, which we're gonna keep the same. Once you learn the melody, you can then add the accompaniment, which is going to make the chord progression even better. Of course, we're combining multiple elements. We have the melody, which we just learned, but now we also have the chord progression, played with the finger picking pattern. So if 
I play the melody with D minor down, I will have D, F, A, D, F, A. But now I'm gonna add also the finger picking pattern. So I have thumb, middle always on the first, and index always on the second. And remember the pattern that we just learned, the 3-3-2? Three, three, it will apply here as well. So we have thumb, index, middle, which is three notes. Then again, with the melody on the F, thumb, index, middle. And then the last pattern, which is played with just two notes, just the thumb and the middle. So I have one, two, three. Keep the same pattern for the other chords. The second one is the C. We're gonna play a beautiful C add nine chord. And again, we're gonna play the same finger picking pattern. So thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, and thumb, middle. So pretty easy since the melody is within the chord. Things are a little bit more challenging for the B flat major chord. We're gonna play the note B flat, the note D, but also the E, which is this beautiful uh, sharp 11. Now the melody is the same. Remember that we have B flat, D, and F, but now we have to add the finger picking pattern. So we have thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. Now with the last chord, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna play like this. So we're gonna have the same finger picking pattern. Uh, we do have to change the chord. So rather than just play an A major chord, we're gonna play an A sus four chord with the note A, A, D, and E. Now the finger picking pattern is the same, we're gonna have thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, and then the thumb on the B flat, fret number three, and the middle. And then we're gonna play the melody just with thumb and index, or thumb and middle. On the third string, fret number two, the note A, G, F and E. And for each one of these notes, I am alternating the E string open. When I put the whole thing together, second section which of course is a little bit more challenging we're gonna keep the D minor just the same but the C major is Pretty interesting, we have the note C and the note G, but also the E string open. And we are playing the melody while holding the second string fret number eight. So we're gonna hold the G while we're playing the melody. But of course we also need the finger picking pattern. So we have thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. Keep going. Thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. It's an interesting phrase, a little challenging. Now we'll go back to the B flat major and we do the same thing. Remember that this time the melody will be played with the note 
B flat, G and F. Same finger picking pattern, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle. And we finish with the last chord, which we're going to keep the same. And the D minor chord. A beautiful chord progression full of different musical elements, quite challenging, but also quite satisfying to play. So take it step by step, enjoy this lesson, I'll see you soon.